Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malhuto Leolam Vaed Good morning to all my Becker friends. Good morning to our teachers and parents and families. We are so happy to be together this morning to celebrate with you and to say goodbye to another wonderful year of learning and friendship and togetherness here at the Becker School. I want to tell you a story this morning, and it's a story about a little baby bird. Once upon a time, just when this baby bird was born, she popped out of the egg and looked around, and there she was in her nest, and right next to her was her loving mama bird, who wrapped her wings around her baby bird and made sure that she was warm and safe and comfy and had enough to eat. And the beginning of her time in the nest with her family was so happy for the baby bird. Before long, though, the baby bird noticed that there was someone else nearby that she didn't recognize. This was a creature that was gray and furry and had a long, fluffy tail. The baby bird asked the mama bird, what is that creature? And the mama bird said, oh, baby bird, that is a squirrel. This tree is his home. He lives here, too. We share this tree together. He gathers nuts for the winter and saves them up so we'll have enough to eat when the winter gets cold. Baby bird said, well, what are we going to do when the winter gets cold? And the mama said, you'll see, baby bird, you'll see. And before long, she was right. The winter started to come. The weather was getting cold. The leaves fell off the tree. And the mama bird said to the baby bird that it was time for them to take a very long trip. You might know that there are some birds who do that every year, that when the weather starts to get cold, they take a very, very long trip. They fly all the way down to the south where it's warm, and they spend all winter there where it's warm. And then a few months later, they turn back around and take the trip in the opposite direction so that they can head back north when the weather there is warmer. So that's exactly what baby bird and her mama bird did when it started to get chilly in their tree. They got ready for their long flight, and they started to fly for days and days and days to find warmer weather. One day, while they were flying over a great big ocean, baby bird looked down, and she saw some beautiful creatures in the water. They were long and silvery colored, and they had fins, and they were jumping in and out of the water. And Baby Bird said to Mama Bird, what are those? And Mama Bird said, oh, Baby Bird, those are dolphins. The sea is their home. That's where they live. And they live and splash and eat and play in the water all day long. Mama Bird and Baby Bird kept flying south for the winter, and eventually they flew past a mountain, and on that mountain there was a great big cave, and just at the entrance to that cave, Baby Bird saw a family of other creatures she didn't recognize at all. They were big and brown and shaggy. Baby Bird said to Mama Bird, what are those creatures? And Mama Bird said, Baby Bird, that's a family of bears. Those are bears. They live there. That cave is their home. They sleep all winter long, and then they wake up and eat honey and berries and lots of delicious fruit when they wake up for their long nap. So finally, after flying for many days, Baby Bird looked troubled. She looked a little worried, and she turned to Mama Bird, and she said, Mama Bird, the squirrel's home is in the tree. The dolphin's home is in the sea. The bear's home is in the cave but where's my home? We're flying from north to south and south to north again. We're flying all the time. Do I have a home too? Mama Bird said to Baby Bird, Baby Bird, you should know this. No matter where you go, when you're with people who love you, you're home. So no matter where we fly, my love will go with you and you'll always be home. Becca, friends, I wanted to tell you that story this morning because I think it teaches us something really important about this place that we love so much, 
All of you have spent time here with people who love you very much, your friends and your teachers and everyone who works at the Becker School. All of us love and care about you so much. And even for those of you that are graduating today, for those of you that are going to take a few months off before coming back to learn with us in the fall, our love is going to go with you too. So no matter where you go, no matter where you work and live and learn and play, our love will go with you and you will always be at home. We wish you so much luck. We hope you have a wonderful summer. We love you. We'll be thinking about you. Mazel tov.